when it comes to the lives that people live, sometimes people are not sure whether they are living a real life, an authentic life. So when it comes to imposter syndrome, what are your thoughts and opinions when it comes to imposter syndrome? When it comes to imposter syndrome, let's just be real. Here, here's the real deal when it comes to that. Imposter syndrome is, for lack of a of a very educated <laughs> definition, it's this mind game um, that we seem to be trapped in, people who suffer from the phenomenon. Imposter syndrome was coined back in the 70s by two people. There hasn't been much research since then. But a lot of people who are dealing with imposter syndrome feel like either their life isn't real, their accomplishments aren't real, or the persona that they're putting out there isn't real. And nine times out of 10, or even more than that, they're wrong. If they sit down with someone and they really, really look at the facts, they have lived a genuine life. Uh, they have accomplished the things that they've accomplished. I think one of the biggest reasons we're seeing more people suffer with imposter syndrome now than we did in the past is because of social media. You have all this comparison with other people. It's, oh, Susie is, you know, living her life on the dock and Instagram and everything like that. And then you meet Susie in person and you realize that Susie is just like you. And it wasn't that Susie wasn't presenting herself authentically. She was just showing you the highlights. And then you meet her in, per in person and you think, oh, you know, she, she wasn't telling the truth. This, this was all a lie. Do I do that? No, it's just, it's social media. It's Instagram. Of course, I'm going to show you my yacht and not a you know, big pile of laundry on my bed. I'm not going to do that unless, you know, I'm a mom influencer and I'm going to show you the real life. And even that sometimes isn't real life. I have a friend who uh, stages some of those things, you know, she, she just takes all the laundry, she puts it on the bed. And she's like, Oh my gosh, all this laundry today. <laughs> and it's like, dude, this isn't real. That stack is way too big. But I think that these types of things are, are why a lot of people aren't sure who they are and, and where they, they fit. And right now we're, we're hearing a lot about deconstructing and, um, finding identity and trying to figure out who I am and where my purpose is. And post COVID, you have a lot of people starting over, you know, their lives look a lot different, different than they did three years ago. And so we're having people who are trying to figure out where they fit in society, who they are, what they want to do, what they really like to do. And that's normal. I tell people all the time, it's normal to feel that way, to, to want to change things. If you're the same person you were at 16, as you are at 40, you did something wrong. You're going to change. Things are going to be different. You're going to question some things. That's called maturity. But the issue comes when you feel like that maturity is fraudulent, when you feel like you're putting on a show, when you feel like, hey, I've done all these great things, and that's not necessarily the case. It's yes, you did great things. Google did hire you. Google saw something in you that was great. You didn't fool Google. Uh, it's funny because a lot of companies like Google now have uh, HR onboarding courses where they tell people, hey, we hired you and we know that a lot of you are probably going to be suffering from imposter syndrome, especially if you're a woman, because 53% of you between the ages of 25 and 34, we know for a fact, because we're Google, that you all suffer from imposter syndrome and you all did not trick us into believing that you are qualified for this job. And in fact, you aren't like, that's just not possible. You didn't fool us. And so I just think it's interesting that we're finding a lot of people who, who are not only finding out about the phenomenon, but wondering, am I dealing with this phenomenon? That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome.